So today we are going to be talking about influenza. Influenza is a viral infection that attacks the respiratory system, your nose, throat, and lungs. Influenza is commonly called the flu, but it is not the same as stomach flu virus that causes diarrhea and vomiting. For most people, the flu is resolved on its own, but sometimes influenza and its complications can be deadly. People at a higher risk of developing flu complications include young children at the age of five, especially those under six months. Adults older than 65, residents of nursing homes and other long term facilities, pregnant women and women up to two weeks after birth, people with weak immune system, Native American, people who have chronic illness such as asthma, heart kidney, kidney disease, liver disease, and diabetes, people who are obese with a body mass index of 40 or higher. What are the symptoms of infertility? At first, the flu may seem like a common cold with a runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat, but cold usually develops slowly, whereas the flu tends to come on suddenly, and although the cold can be bothered, you usually feel much worse with flu. Common signs and symptoms of flu include fever, aching muscle, chill and sweat, headache, dry persistent cough, shortness of breath, tiredness and weakness, running or stuffy nose, sore throat, high pain, vomiting and diarrhea, but this is more common in children than adults. Causes of infertility. Influenza, causes of influenza. Influenza virus travel through the air in droplets when someone with infection coughs, sneezes or talk. You can inhale the droplet directly or you can pick up the jams from an object such as telephone or computer keyboard and then transfer them to your high nose or mouth. People with the virus are likely contagious from about a day before the symptoms appear until about day five after that they start. Children and people with weak immune system may be contagious for a slightly longer time. Influenza are consistent, constantly changing with the new strain appearing regularly. If you had had pneumonia in the past, your body has already been antibodies to fight that specific strain of virus. If infectious virus are similar to those you have encountered before, either by the disease or by getting vaccinated, those antibodies may prevent infection or lessen the severity, but antibody level can be declined over time. Also, antibodies against influenza viruses you have encountered in the past may not protect you from new strains that can be very different virus from what you have had before. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a lot about influenza and its effect and its causes on the body. So, basically, the best treatment for influenza is vaccination for both adults and also in children. So, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also, you can also visit our channel page to watch more videos from us. Thank you.